when I started my IT career and IT learning, and one day I asked one of my instructors that if you're not available, who am I going to go and ask a question when I start working in IT? The instructor told me that, well, I will never be available for you because that's not what I do. I am a trainer. I do skills training and things like that. And I was like, okay. So I got worried, but he's like, okay, I'll tell you something after the class. So of course, class ended and he told me, here you go. Here's my ID on this uh, specific community. And you can see how many questions I have asked. Uh, and and I was like, oh, uh, so I was thinking you could solve anything. Well, he told me the reality that nobody is born with uh, that sort of knowledge. Everybody, whoever thinks they're the best in IT, um, they probably will never mention that, but they are a part of some sort of communities and they use that and then they get help. Okay. And that's very common in IT. When you start working in IT as a new person, or even if you would experience, you will come across issues that you have never seen, the product you have never worked on, and the technologies that you have never worked on. So for that, you naturally need to go to some sort of communities. And if that's something your mind don't accept, then you will have issues in this career. And that is the that is the thing over here that I'm trying to tell people over here that uh, people who are in your training courses, trainers, teachers, they're not going to be able to help you with your job because they most likely won't know or don't even know what what type of products you're going to come across. So you will have to dig into some sort of community that have millions and millions of hundreds of thousands of people. And then somehow you are going to find the same type of products, engineers and people in the same uh, skill set that you are in. So for that, the first thing you should do is to use ChatGPT. We're in 2024. ChatGPT is not going to replace you, but it's going to make your job easy. So if you're not going to use it, you, it's, you're just doing it the hard way, classic way, hard way stressful way and you can see i am asking chat gpt give me the top five communities for it professionals so i can get help with my it job so i'm very like normal like like a friend so i'm gonna go ahead and ask this question and enter so it says certainly let me just give you some information right here and look at this right here it gives this stack or flow depending on what type of uh you know um communities you are in or jobs you are in and then this is the big one that i'm going to talk about spiceworks it has i think over six million users but i'm not sure the exact number probably more than that and i will demonstrate just one community like how you can just go in into some sort of forums and just look at the for followers of each forum and then of course we have reddit we have uh, TechNet forums, we have Microsoft forums, we have ServerFault, we have uh, Discord. So for that, I'm not going to go into those because the thing is this, that those communities are still great. You're going to get a lot of, uh, you know, uh, answers immediately. But Spiceworks is kind of built. It's a whole platform application just built for IT professionals. So that's why I'm just going to focus on Spiceworks just to keep things simple. But later on, you should go to Reddit and look at that. There's this Reddit in there, our sysadmin. So it's a very famous one. And then there are other ones too, IT career questions, I believe. So you could, you could go into these communities and ask questions and you're going to get answers. But if you're looking for a specific application type of thing, then that's Spiceworks. So let's talk about that. So if you go to Google and just search for Spiceworks, you can see Spiceworks is right there. And it's a free tool for IT professional. And it's like a it's like an application. They have some applications in there too. They have community. So the main thing that I want to discuss is community. So of course you are gonna actually create your own account over here. And then here is the ask question area. I'm not gonna go there. I just want to show you first the all forum community. Like just if you click on the all forum, you can see they have tons of tons of tons of communities out here. So uh, I feel like. If you ever work in IT, uh, I don't know if they will miss anything over here. So let's say you are working as an IT support professional. You can come to the windows like that's like if you click on the, the main one, that's like the main uh, uh, group of windows. Right. So you can actually come over here and see that even today, just an hour ago, look at how many people are sending messages and look at the replies too so if, if, it, if an hour ago of course i see zero but look at this if there's a four hours five hours then you see the replies are getting bigger and bigger so if you go to like say the third page those are a little older replies and you see the replies are getting more and more and more that just shows you how how active this community is and how many things you can actually find out so if you're new to it you should be coming over here if you want to let's say 
uh, land a job in IT support, you should come over here. Look at just the Windows issues. These are IT professionals. Most of them are actually working in IT and they're asking other IT professionals. So number one, if you are ever thinking about finding some uh, some good troubleshooting type of issues that other IT professionals are having, come over here. You will find out. And if you go through it, the solutions and things like that, you are just basically helping yourself. It's like you are creating a troubleshooting course in your mind. Uh, and there is nobody that can teach you troubleshooting. We try. We we have a lot of courses, labs, and everything in there. But of course, we're not going to be at the level where we can touch everything in Windows or anything Windows related. So this could be the best way for you to learn troubleshooting. And not only that, you can actually ask questions when you when let's say you landed a job, and now you landed a job at the high level where you feel like, uh, you know what, I have never touched networking devices. So what about if I can find networking over here or maybe network community? So maybe I'll just go to the network community. Let's just type networking. So you see, there's a lot of different type of networking comes up right here. So if you click on journal networking, if I click on it, look at the follower in just this uh, community, almost hitting a million right there. That is the power of this type of platforms where now if you go and check the networking, um, you know, uh, issues, the normal issues, people are, uh, you know, putting all that information and you can see network design feedback requested. So people, some people have created network design and some people are giving feedback. So if you're new to IT and in networking, you're definitely going to come across networking designs. And this is the best way to come and check what is the other professionals giving them suggestions, tools, uh, uh, tips, things like that. And then, of course, you're going to see the issues that they're having. So if you are looking for a specific area in uh, in um, networking, even just a Wireshark have its own uh, group, uh, every specific area, like, you know, Spice for uh, K-12 schools admins. Like, that's that's just something, uh, like, you know, there's a lot of people who work in school and, and their way of IT is different than a normal generic IT professional in nonprofit. So you got to understand how powerful this is. This You can't get, get better than this. This is real people, real data. And I don't think any courses can or any labs can really match this type of free access at this point. This Look at this information right here. Um, I, as a content developer, can come over here and can develop some uh, you know crazy amount of content just from this type of uh, things. But the thing is this. Um, nobody have that kind of time to do these things. So we have to do things at a more academic way or more, uh, you know, modular way. And, and we just, this is why we tell people that you have to actually come here to, for your own job, for your own thing. So if you come to me and say, Danish, I have these issues, I'm, I will never be able to answer you. I probably won't even answer you. The reason for that is I don't want to create that. Well, you have a community over here and you need to rely on that. What if Danish is not here in this world tomorrow? So how, how are you going to do your job? You have to be in a community to actually come over here and be a part of it. So this is just to give you an example of how powerful this type of communities are. I would say definitely start from here. If you can't find good results from here, then move on to other communities as well. And of course, you're going to be using Google and other things for quick searching, the things that are already available out there. Not only this, in these forums, there's scripts available, there are how-tos available. There's actually a course section too here somewhere. I don't know where that is, but there's actually somewhere that they have like an IT uh, courses in there like you can just take some online documented type of courses over here as well so that's it for today uh, a quick tips for people who are looking for a job who have landed the job and they're looking for it friends join spiceworks and we're not sponsored by them it's just that it's a great community